you're part of a crew, nobody ever tells you that they're going to kill you. It doesn't happen that way. There aren't any arguments or curses like in the movies. So your murderers come with smiles. They come as your friends, the people who have cared for you all of your life, and they always seem to come at a time when you're at your weakest and most in need of their help. So I met Jimmy in a crowded place we both knew. I got there 15 minutes early and I saw that Jimmy was already there. He took the booth near the window so we could see everyone who drove up to the restaurant. He wanted to make sure I wasn't tailed. He was jumpy. He hadn't touched a thing. On the surface, of course, everything was supposed to be fine. We were supposed to be discussing my case. But I had the feeling Jimmy was trying to sense whether I was going to rat him out to save my neck. I've been telling you your whole life. Don't talk on the fucking phone, right? Now you understand? Huh? It's going to be okay. I think you got a good chance of being the case. But, you know that kid, you know, from the city we're talking about? You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. The kid turned out to be a rat. As soon as he got pinched, he ratted everybody out. He ratted us all out. I know where he is. He's hiding now. He's, you know, he's... You know I'm saying? Would you have a problem going with Anthony on vacation? He'll take care of everything. Mm-mm. No, not at all. I'm waiting to get another. Huh? Jimmy had never asked me to whack somebody before, but now he's asking me to go down to Florida and do a hit with Anthony. That's when I knew I would never have come back from Florida alive.